Welcome to the monthly briefing for April. I've got four messages for you today. These are the confirmation of the Chief Executive appointment, some news on our Proud campaign, a question for you about how we best communicate with each other, and an update on our preparation for the CQC inspection. I'm delighted that the lengthy ratification process for the Chief Executive post uh, is over and I can confirm that I am the Chief Executive of our Trust. The Board has wanted to confirm this with you but has been unable to until the news was given to us last week that my appointment has been approved. We will have many opportunities to discuss things together but first of all, I want to say thank you for the efforts that you have made to reduce our costs and expenditure over the last few weeks and months. We are very likely to make break-even at the end of this year, and I can confirm that in the next briefing. Secondly, I'd like to give you an early indication of what my priorities are going to be for our Trust. The first will be focusing on improving staff experience through, amongst other things, creating a staff charter with you so that we agree what we can and should expect and how we can and should expect to be treated when working in this trust. I will also focus on moving our service user and carer engagement into genuine participation. This includes increasing the ways in which we hear and respond to the patient voice. Additionally, some of you will have heard the term patient activation. It's worth looking up. For me, it means that we will work very specifically to give service users and families the tools they need to understand and manage their own conditions well, and in so doing, reduce relapse and improve treatment outcomes. Now news of our Proud campaign. I'm incredibly proud to work in the NHS and in our trust and I want everyone in AWP to feel the same. I hope you've seen our new Proud campaign. With hundreds of items of praise coming into the Trust each month and with our improved inpatient and community surveys, we have much to be proud of. And this is all down to our staff, so I would love us to celebrate that. Let's be positive about how far we've come and let's be proud together and confident as we look ahead to 2016. Please use the resources that you'll find on our space. More than 350 messages have been sent in the first 10 days of the campaign. I want to hear from you how we best communicate with each other as colleagues. Recently, we've been embracing social media, that is Facebook and Twitter, and our profile is growing. Do you have ideas about how we can make the most of this? Should we look at developing another platform so that we can communicate with each other as well as with the wider world? Some trusts have done this with great effect. The communications team will be launching some ways for you to be part of developing this. Look out for an announcement or you can email the communications team and tell them your ideas. I want to thank everyone that comes to the briefing events who've used the film with their team and who contributes to the comments and reads the feedback which is shared on our space. Last month there were some really good discussions around the Trust about CQC preparation, about finances and about other issues local or trust-wide. I want you to feel that you can set the agendas for these briefings. So, what do you want to know about for May? It will not have escaped your notice that the CQC visit is just around the corner. By now, you should have seen the five fact sheets and you should be working in your teams to be clear on the standards for each domain. Have you read the core standards? Are you and your team colleagues meeting them? Have you talked about the core standards in your teams? Have you talked about the problems and the fixes? Where you might be not quite meeting a standard, what are you doing to fix that or to mitigate the risks? 
If you're having any problems or have concerns which cannot be resolved, refer to your quality director. Otherwise, the CQC project team is available to give you support and advice. During the inspection, daily updates will be issued to you. Finally, and most importantly, I believe that our services have come a long way in the past year and that whatever our rating is, this inspection will be beneficial to us. It will, of course, show us where we need to make further improvements, but most importantly, the inspection is going to give us all a chance to show what we do so well and show what we're proud of. We know that quality isn't only about the CQC visit, it's about the service that we provide every day. And I know lots of you have told me that you're really looking forward to the inspection so that you can show the inspectors all that you do. Be proud of what you do, you're doing great work. <laughs>